What's up guys, it's Gino. Welcome back to another LBA battle. This is in fact round 10 of the LBA. We're currently chilling on a 4-5 and five record, but we're in uh, the 8th spot out of 16 teams in the Aqua Division, meaning we are just making the cut, but it is a very, very tight race. There's a lot of teams sitting around this 4-5, and 5-5 five, five and five area, so I know if I can pick up a win um, versus... Um, versus Nelson this week that uh, I can actually do pretty well and uh, kind of take a bump up. Um, this team was actually previously owned by Sandro Bogut, um, who opted to leave the league just because he wasn't having that much fun and had some personal stuff going on. So it was taken over by Nelson and uh, actually had this battle this morning. So anyway, looking at his team, he has Garchomp, which is pretty neat in the LBA because he can run a lot of uh, different sets. You can run stuff like Chain Chomp, you can run Stealth Rocks, Physically Defensive, Heck, like even stuff like AV jump, AV chomp is cool. Then of course you have scarf and band. Also specs could be an option because it does get some pretty high base powered special moves. Um, and then he also has Suicune, which I'm assuming is going to be Crocoon, but it can also pull off stuff like offensive CM and uh, Tailwind. And then he has a uh, Togekiss, um, which you know pretty neat. Um, then we also have Chansey just chilling here, which makes up his main defensive core, which is Chansey and Slow Mega Slowbro which is, of course, pretty tough to break. And then he also has me and Xiao. But I, like, personally, I think if there's any team that can easily break his defensive core, it's my team. Because I have a, st I have a lot of things that uh, can break stall pretty well, like Gothitel, DD Gyarados. I can just slap Seb on here and, like, half his team just quakes in fear. Um, but anyway, I also have Thunderous, but, you know, Thunder's just generally cool. Anyway, looking at my team this week, um, I brought Calm Mind Clefable. The reason I brought uh, Calm Mind Clefable Fable is because I knew that, like, looking at his team right now, uh, Chansey can't really do anything to me because it can't status me because I have Magic Guard, so I actually just plow my way through his team um, with relative ease, and as long as I can, like, weaken Chansey and get rid of Suicune, which, you know, isn't actually that hard. Then I also have a Mixed Thunderous here, which is... Basically just here for the purposes of knocking stuff off, luring Chansey, then uh, spamming T-Bolt versus the majority of his team, because he does have three Mons weak to Electric. Um, then I also have Gyarados, I just ended up bringing DD3 attacks again, just because, you know, it's one of the better Gyarados sets. Um, and Gyarados has relatively customizable coverage, um, versus stuff, like... <clears throat> whether it wants to run Ice Fang or Earthquake. Opted for Ice Fang this week. Um, then I also brought Specs Gothitelle um, with Toxic. And the reason I brought that is because I didn't want to kill off Chansey with a, a Psy Shock and then give him a free turn to set up Mega Slowbro. Um, so I would, the ideally I would trick away my Specs to Chansey um, and then Toxic Slowbro if it came in. So, you know, that's always good. Um, also, in order to bring you Weezing this week, just basically to check me and Chow and to check Garchomp relatively well, because you know when you can limit Garchomp to one of its stabs and you can burn it, and then me and Chow can't actually touch me very well, uh, because like most of the moves it commonly carries, just, like Weezing actually doesn't care. So that's what was great. And then I brought the Stable, which is Scarf X Drill. But anyway, let's go ahead and try to pick up our fifth win of the season and get back to 500. Nelson M is, of course, issuing the challenge, ends up leading with me and Xiao. And I'm just going to go ahead and lead with Clefable because I know even if he led with me and Xiao, I could just get Rocks up, which is fine. Poison Jab does nothing, and I just ended up going for Moonblast turn one. Actually, I don't have Rocks on this, but just ended up going for Moonblast, knock him out. So that is beautiful. Um, look at Clefable just dancing around right here. He ends up going on a Togekiss, and, and I know he's probably going to want a T-Wave or Air Slash me right here. Either way, Thunderous gets a pretty free switch in. He does go for the T-Wave, so free switch for me, and I can just fire off a knockoff relatively safely. Chansey comes in. I get rid of it to Violite, which is great. But unfortunately, because I don't have rocks on the field, the superpower isn't actually going to kill, which is relatively disappointing because he gets to fire off a Toxic, which... While it doesn't matter that much, because like I don't have a life orb, so I'm not going to get worn down super quickly. It's just more of a nuisance. He's actually going to switch out here, uh, nicely predicting the T-Bolt. Um, I could have gone for another knockoff, but I probably wouldn't have killed. Um, so, you know, it's okay. But right here, he's just going to actually withdraw his Garchomp and go straight into Suicune, knowing I'm not going to want to stay in. So, very, very good play on his part as I end up making the switch out into my Weezing, which, you know, 
is fine because at this point in the battle I was like oh god Suicune might be a problem but of course I do pack the clear smog here so I can shut it down relatively easily I'm just gonna hit him with a sludge bomb and uh, get the turn one poison which while it sucks it doesn't really matter in the long run because I do have specs got to tell with T-Bolt and Thunderous just chilling in the back he's gonna go for a plus one skull which does a lot gets a burn so you know we're kind of trading damage here that's fine both of us got our 30% chances on the first try. I'm going to clear smog him, get rid of his boosts, and uh, go for Sludge Bomb right here. Just because I know that a another Scald won't kill me. Um, it'll bring me down to where Burn will kill me, though. And I know he's not going to tr try to set up plus one in my face. Um, so I just end up going for a Sludge Bomb. Get a nice chunk of damage off, which is actually going to bring him below 50%. Um, but unfortunately not in the range where I can come in and uh, knock him out with a crunch from Mega Gyarados. Because, um, you know, while that would be nice, it only does like 33%, I think. So I'm, I'm just going to go back out into Thunderous, which is fine. He's going to make the uh, safe switch and a Chansey just so he can sack this thing off. Because, you know, 12% Chansey without its Violet isn't really going to be checking anything on my team. So, you know, that's fine by me because now he just gets a free switch into his Togekiss right here. And at first, I really questioned this play, but... um. He knew that I didn't have full special attack investment because I did have knockoff and superpower. Uh, so he knows he will be able to stall me out uh, with Toxic if I do decide to stay in right here. And uh, so far he may have Aura Sphere, but I'm expecting Roost and Defog to occupy the last two slots along with Thunder Wave and Air Slash. So I'm just going to make the safe switch out into Excadrill. Um, because Excadrill does actually take this thing on pretty well. I can hit it with a stab Iron Head. Um, I'm gonna actually switch out into Gothitelle right here. A uh, nickname Stay a While. Shout out to Under the Radar um, for getting my pokes this week. Anyway, so he goes out and it was a Mega Slowbro right here. Which is unfortunate for him because now he's trapped. Um, I thought that was a pretty nifty double on my part. But um, I'm just gonna hit him with a T-Bolt right here. That does a lot of damage. And he just ends up Calm Minding right here. So, you know... Uh, he will go down to this next T-Bolt, and his defensive core is out of the way. Uh, he still has Togekiss chilling, but I, my team actually takes on Togekiss pretty well. I think every one of my remaining mods has a way to kill this thing. So I end up switching out of my Gothitelle into my Gyarados right here. Because um, I know Gyarados can't take this thing on. Uh, he just ends up going for rocks, which is fine. I end up getting this in, in before rocks, which is cool. But at this point, I don't think rocks are going to trouble me that much. Um, I have only lost one Pokemon, which is my Weezing. Um... So I'm just going to Mega Evolve right here and go straight away for the Ice Fang. And Ice Fang will do about 50-ish percent um, to the point where I don't know if Waterfall is going to be able to knock him out. I don't think it will, unfortunately. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out just because, you know, can't really do anything to him right here. And go into Staple, which is the Excadrills. He does choose to go for the Thunder Wave. Right there he had to go for Thunder Wave because he couldn't risk getting knocked out. Like, he couldn't risk roosting and being knocked out by a Waterfall on a roll. So... Right here, what I am going to do, um, I could have gone for the Rock Slide, but I just end up going for the Iron Head, because it is my safest play. Because um, I do have other steps to take on Suicune, it's not really too much of an issue. And I can always try to go for the, uh, the Flinch Chance right here. Unfortunately, like, it's not really that, that big of a deal that I don't get it. Really, it just changed the score at the end of the game. Um, spoilers. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to switch right here into Stay A While, which is the Gothitelle, which actually has put in a ton of work this match. Um, and so he ends up sleep talking a scald, which, you know, um, I'd rather him sleep talk scald than calm mind. Um, and he's not going to get calm mind right here either. He does get another scald, which is like nice for him because he gets damage, but I can just fire off a specs T bolt, which is going to do a lot of damage and will threaten the two at KO. But of course he can't switch out. Um, it's a roll on whether scald is going to kill me again. He just ends up going for the rest, hoping that maybe, um, I get some weird damage variation or I decide to switch, um, but unfortunately for him, I'm not going to do that. Um, and he will have to kiss his Suicune goodbye right here. I do believe um, it gets a rest. It, yeah, it gets a rest right here. And he ends up going down with T-Bolt, so you know, great for me. Also, um, well, while he dies, uh, shout out to Comax for the background music this week. This is his Wally remix that he just posted. It's really good. You guys should go check it out. He ends up missing a Fire Blast as I just stand and click T-Bolt, because, um, you know, I'm pretty... Pretty intent on sacking Gothitelle right here, which, you know, I end up doing it. I uh, go into my Mega Gyarados right here, and he is a defensive Garchomp. Uh, you could see by, or you guys will see here in a couple minutes. Um, not a couple minutes, a minute, but, you know, we're just, like, splitting hairs right here. I'm just going to go for the Waterfall, and two Waterfalls will knock this Togekiss out right here. So, at this point, his last is Garchomp, and I do have 
Gyarados, Excadrill, Thunderous, and Clefable left. So he's going to go for the Earthquake right here. I could have gone into Thunderous, but um, it didn't really help me. I just wanted to break this thing's potential Sash. But you guys will see that he does actually have Rocky Helmet. I also didn't want him to be Sash Chomp and for me to miss an Ice Fang, which explains why I didn't go for it right there. Um, like, theoretically, I could have gotten a 4 this week instead of a 3 but I would have rather played a little safer and picked up the win than get like counter swept by something that I really shouldn't have gotten counter swept by. So anyway, I ended up defeating Nelson this week. Very, very good game. If you guys did enjoy um, today's LBA battle, please make sure to leave a like as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which was who do you think was the MVP for round five? Um ended up losing last ended up losing round nine. Week five, I mean, not round five. Round 9, I took a loss. Round 10, I won. So, you know. Um, overall, had a plus 2 differential this week, despite uh, splitting my games. Next week, I play Mr. Murkrow, um, who actually does YouTube. So, uh, next week, link to his channel will be in the description. And then, I play Rival Rourke. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel. But, either way, those will be up this week. Um, is there anything else I need to talk about right here? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to be gone from Wednesday to Saturday, so if you don't get to your comments before then, that's why. State basketball. Booyah. Anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.